This video demonstrates analysis of transient stability in the transmission system example using the RMS simulation function. The main steps for setting up and carrying out the analysis will be shown. In this example, study case 03 transient stability should be activated together with scenario base scenario. The project already contains the dynamic model definitions of the controllers of the generators. The composite models and the common model definitions can be seen in a network model manager. These are how the controller dynamics are defined in PowerFactory. Let's look at one of the composite models. We can see that the various control elements are defined. If we double-click on any of these, we can access the parameters. We can also reach this information from the generator itself, for example, from a single line diagram. The model is accessed from the basic data page by clicking on this arrow. To carry out a simulation, we first need to set up the events to be analysed. We'll study a fault line on the line SWL3. By right-clicking on the circuit from the grid graphic, we can define the short circuit event. By default, this is a three-phase fault halfway along the line, which occurs at zero seconds. We also need to clear the fault after a suitable interval. Therefore, a second event is defined to open the circuit breakers at the ends of the line. Again, we right-click on the line, but this time define a switch event. We'll assume that the breakers will open after 100 milliseconds. The events are now set up. If we later need to change the events, we can do so using this icon in the simulation RMS EMT toolbox. For the next step, this icon is used to carry out the calculation of initial conditions which are based on a load flow. If no load flow results are available, a load flow will automatically be run first. We will study a three-phase fault, so the network representation is balanced, positive sequence. Other options have already been set, such as the step size and start time. The initial conditions are calculated, and now all the signals of the models are initialized based on the load flow solution. The next step is to specify which elements we wish to monitor and which variables we're interested in. We can select elements from a filter or from a graphic. In this case, we'll select a number of generators and other elements from the graphic, multi-selecting by holding down the control key. Then we right-click on one of the selected elements and choose Results, Variables, Simulation, RMS, EMT. Default variables are already selected according to Element Class, but these selections can be changed. For example, for this line we can select the loading. If these selections need to be changed later, this icon can be used. Now the simulation can be run. The time reached by the simulation can be seen at the bottom of the display. The output window can also be checked to ensure that the events have been executed. Once the simulation is complete, we can use this icon to create plots in order to see the results.
First, the elements for the plot are selected. Then the required variable to be plotted. In this case, we'll choose the speed. This can be copied and pasted for the other elements. We click on OK and the plot is drawn. If this icon is selected, curve tracking is activated and the plot values are easily seen. More plots can be created simply by selecting this plot, copying and then pasting using Ctrl V. The copied plot can then be edited to create a plot for different elements or change the variables selected. If necessary, the axes can be rescaled using these icons.